What's up guys, it's Luke here. and Today we're gonna review the five renovation mistakes that I personally made and how you can avoid them. Let's go. Please subscribe and hit that notifications bell because I really need subscribers. Everybody who's ever invested in real estate has done some or all of these. So learn from my mistakes and here they are. Mistake number one, over improving for the area. This one's really easy to do, especially if you watch HGTV. If none of the homes in your area have marble or granite countertops, then you have no business putting marble or granite countertops in your home. Unless you're getting them for the same price as Formica or whatever countertops are being used in your area, it's not going to pay off. You're gonna end up overspending and not getting that money back. And I've done this one personally. I've put a lot of high-end touches in a house where none of the houses around it had any high-end touches nor were the people that were gonna to move to that neighborhood willing to pay for those touches. The easy way to avoid this is check all the listings for the houses in your area. And the houses I'm talking about, guys, are the ones that are already renovated. The crack house that needs to be renovated isn't a good way for you to figure out what you need to do. The second mistake I've made, overestimating my own skills. Another casualty of the DIY or HGTV era we all see these people on TV with pretty nails and pretty hair and they get up there and they supposedly tile an entire bathroom. So you think, hey, I can do that too. But the reality is on those reality TV shows, they're not actually doing the work. They're just putting in a tile or two and then the pros come in and finish up the rest. I too have done this one. We bought a house with beautiful old 80, 90 year old floors and I thought, hey, I can refinish those myself. 48 hours later and about 32 hours worth of work, and my body killing me, I finally figured out this was just way above my ability and I hired the job out. But not after blowing through about $800 in materials and rentals and an entire weekend wasted and an aching body. So try to be honest with yourself. If you wanna give it a try, try something small first before you make a large commitment. The third mistake I've made, and it's because I'm cheap, is using the wrong materials to save money. All I'll say about it is I'm cheap and I bought cheap stuff. Always avoid using low quality materials. There are plenty of other places for you to save money. Don't cheap out on materials. And mistake number four, which kind of goes along with mistake number three, is not doing the prep work. Like everything else in life, if you're gonna cheat the work, your results are not gonna be there. And oh, by the way, if you put in the work now with the proper prep work, it means you'll have a lot less work to do later on. And it can be on something simple. I had to redo an entire closet one time just because I didn't double check my measurements. Not because I forgot, but because eh, I just didn't want to take the time to remeasure the whole thing. And I ended up being off by about two inches. And there are tons of other prep work that suck, like sanding and cleaning and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. But they are all required for you to get that professional finish. If you put in the work, your results will be so much better. And the fifth and final mistake that I've made is going with the contractor who gave me the lowest bid. Get multiple bids and go with the highest rated one. It's so tempting to go with a guy who's a few thousand dollars cheaper than everybody else on your list. But as I found out, if you go with that guy, the chances of the work being quality is very, very low. Additionally, and this is the part that really sucks, is now you gotta pay somebody else to come in and not only do the work, but also fix the work that the other guy did. So in some cases, I ended up paying double what I would have paid if I just would have paid the most expensive contractor in the first place. There's so many resources out there for you to check on each contractor. There's no reason why you need to use a low rated contractor or a guy you meet at Home Depot or anything else like that. There you go guys, that's the list of the top five mistakes that I've made. And honestly, this could have been a 200 mistake list. So comment down below, let me know any mistakes that you've made and tell me how you fixed it. So please subscribe and hit that notifications bell because I really need subscribers. And give this video a thumbs up as well. Thanks.